<laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Herbal Santiago and I'm a teacher. All right, now it's a study. So today, um, I'm going to have, we're going to have a lesson. Um, this is the Taglish version ng ating inaral kaninang umaga, or kanina, or kahapon. Um, which is uh, regarding pandiwa. Para sa araw na to, pag-aaralan natin ay pandiwa. Specifically, yung mga panagano o hinggil at um, sa ilalim nun, yung dalawang uri, pawatas at pautos. Alright, if you don't know these words, you came to the right video because here I will explain what these words are. Okay, so pandiwa in English, um, that's verbs. These are words that convey actions. So ang mga pandiwa ay mga salitang tumutukoy sa action o galaw. Like verbs, emotions that induce actions are also called pandiwa. Yung mga emosyon na nagre-resulta sa action ay tinatawag ding mga pandiwa. Okay? So, if that's what pandiwa is, what is panagano o hinggil? O let's define it first dun sa Filipino. So, ang ibig nitong sabihin ay ito yung kabagayan ng pagkaganap o pangyayari. Um, simply put, it, ito yung um, ang, yung tumutukoy dun sa kasalukuyang ginagampanan nung pandiwa natin, ng salitang pandiwa natin. At ito yung iba't ibang paraan ng pagpapahayag ng diwa ng ating pandiwa. Alright? So, let me explain that in English. So, panagan or hinggil, this pertains to the, 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 um, the kasalukuyang ginagampanan. How should I translate that? This pertains to the current nature um or the current role that the verb is playing or that the, the pandiwa is playing. The current role that the pandiwa is playing. Okay? It pertains to the uh, different ways of, of saying, communicating the idea of the action. The idea of the action. Again, ang pag-aaral natin ng balarila ay concept-based, nakabase sa konsepto. There is always an idea that we want to communicate. There is always a concept that we want the other person to understand. So, ang pandiwa ay isang instrumento para ma-ipaliwanag natin kung ano man ang nais nating sabihin. So, let's exp explore what that means. Okay? So, kung ito yung kanyang linguistic term, um, ano ba ang ibig niyang sabihin? So, sa ilalim ng panagano hinggil, merong dalawang uri at isabfed yun na to. May dalawang uri. Ang una ay pawatas, pandiwang pawatas. Um, at sa, ang kahulugan niyan, ito yung panlaping makadiwa at salitang ugat na nilalapian. So, ito yung mga salitang pandiwa na binubuo ng salitang ugat in English, that's the root word, plus uh, panli, panlaping makadiwa. In English, that's prefixes, right? Prefixes or suff suffixes that add meaning doon sa ating mga salita. So, for example, um, mibig. So, the root word there is ibig. Ang salitang ugat ay ibig. Love. To love. <laughs> um... Uh, ibig to love or love um is the panlaping makadiwa right so um mibig right iba yun sa in mibig or i ibig right so for example um paano ba nagbabago yung yung Paano binabago ng panlapi yung kahulugan? For example, lo, uh, ibig is love or like. Okay? That's the root word. Now, umibig is to love. Inibig is uh, beloved. Okay? Iibig means to love. So, almost the same. Umibig is to love. Um, iibig is to love. Um... Uh, umib inibig is to be loved. Okay? So, um, we're gonna have another discussion regarding panlapi and how they change the meaning of a sentence, of a word. 
um, sa mga susunod ng videos. Okay, but for now, suffice it to say na ang pandiwang pamatas, pawatas ay tumutukoy sa salitang ugat na nilalapian ng mga panlaping ng dadagdag ng diwa. So, for example, umibig, ibigay, basahin, matulog. Okay? So, umibig, ibigay, basahin, matulog. W what are these words? Umibig means to love, ibigay means to give, basahin means to read, matulog means to sleep. Okay? And when we create sentences, it will be like this. Masarap sa pakiramdam ang umibig. It feels good to love. Nais kong basahin ang sulat. I want to read the letter. Hindi maaaring hindi nila ibigay ang hinihingi. It's not possible for them not to give what we're asking for. Dapat nang matulog ang mga bata. The kids should sleep. Umibig. Basahin. Ibigay. Matulog. Okay? Um, and at this juncture, um, as you are learning English as a foreign language, language uh, Filipino as a foreign language, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause this video right, right here. And I want you to bring out a pen and a paper. Um, I also want you, if, if you do not have that, bring out your gadgets. So you can type using that. So you have a laptop, a tablet, or a, a, a cell phone. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to use these words in your own sentences. So gamitin ang mga salitang umibig, basahin, ibigay, at matulog sa inyong sariling mga pangusap. Okay? Use the words umibig, basahin, ibigay, at matulog in your own sentences. Okay? Just use them. Alright? Kung yun yung pandiwang pawatas, ito pala yung mga salitang ugat plus panlapi. Um, ang ikalawa na panagano o hinggil ay ang mga pandiwang pautos. Ito yung mga ginagamit sa pag-uutos, uh, paghingi o pagsuyo. May tatlong uri ng pag-uutos. So, let's translate that. Um, ang mga pandiwang pauto sa mga salita, these are the words that we use when we're asking for favors or we want to uh, to dispose commands. Right? So, there are three types of pandiwang pautos. Okay. Uh, the first one is makapangyarihan o marahas. Makapangyarihan means powerful or aggressive. So, may mga salita na agresibo ang dating. Powerful ang dating. Right? And, um, bahagi minsan ng pangusap kasi o nang naisabihin ng pangusap na pansinin yung uh, sinasabi. Um, if it is, if it is, uh, really noisy, I apologize. The kids are having fun outside. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let's continue. Okay, so ito yung mga ibang mga uh, halimbawa ng mga yun. Um, Sulong, labas, sabi na. Sulong means to go forth. Labas means to go out. Sabi na means to say, to say something, or to say something out loud. So when we say that in Filipino, it would be like this. Sulong, labas na, sabi na. Notice the, the, how I forcefully use the words. That is purposive because we usually use this when we want our uh, sentences to be um, taken seriously, right? For example, when we create sentences, it will be like this. Ito yung mga halimbawa ng mga pandiwang pautos na makapangyarihan o marahas. Sulong at ipaglaban ang karapatan ng mga manggagawa. Sulong at ipaglaban ang karapatan ng mga manggagawa. Go forth! And fight for the rights of the workers. Go forth and fight for the rights of the workers. So, 
um, ginamit yung pandiwang pautos na makapangyarihan o marahas sapagat importante yung issue na pinag-uusapan. So, the, the writer uses the pandiwang pautos na makapangyarihan at marahas because the issue is important. So, here's another sentence. Labas! So, we do know that, right? Even in English, we have intransitive uh, verb where you don't need any object for it to be a complete sentence. So, labas, a command. Labas, get out. Okay? Or the third sentence is, Sabi na, habang maaari ko pa kayong patawarin. Sabi na, habang maaari ko pa kayong patawarin. In English, that's, say it right now. Um, because I, how, while I can still um, forgive you. Say it now while I can still forgive you. Sabi na habang mari ko pa kayong patawarin. Okay? Alright. And just like what we did a while ago, I want you to pause this video. Right? I want you to pause this video and continue. I want you to continue to write sentences. So use the words sulong Labas at sabi na in your own sentences. Gamitin ang sulong, labas, at sabi na sa inyong sariling mga pangusap. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, but the Filipinos are not a... We are not... Um, it, it's part of their, our culture that is... Hin that hinges on the history. So, ang mga Filipino ay hindi masyadong ayaw nila ng marahas na na pakikisu na na kung may favor na gagawin, it's easier uh it people will easily follow you kung gagamit ka ng soft voices, right? Kanun din ang wika. So, meron ding mga wika na soft. So, ma mga malubay o pasuyong mga pandiwang pautos. So, halimbawa, ibig sa sabihin mong sulong, pwede mong sabihin, sumulong ka, or pwede mong sabihin, sumulong kayo. Okay? Ibig sa sabihin mong labas, you can say, lumabas. And instead of saying, sabi na, pwede kang magsabi ng, magsabi ka na, or kayo. So, dalawang konteksto nyo ito pwedeng gamitin, no? Nais natin una, Kapag ayaw natin na sumama yung loob na mga hinihinga natin ng tulong o sinasabihan natin. Pangalawa, madalas din ginagamit ito sa work setting kasi mas uh, formal siya. Alright? Mas formal at mas marispeto. Uh, but again, to a certain extent ha, kasi ang respeto ay hindi, wala yan sa salita, nasa pagkatao yan eh. Um, nasa action niya ng tao. But suffice it to say na pwede natin gamitin yung salita para magpakita ng uh, certain level of respect. So, okay. Sumulong ka o kayo. Lumabas, magsabi ka na o kayo. And these are the sample sentences. Right? Sumulong kayo at ipaglaban ang karapatan ng mga manggagawa. Same meaning, go forth and fight for the rights of the workers. Sumulong kayo, at ipaglaban ang karapatan ng mga manggagawa. Ikalawang pangusap, lumabas ka na. Get out. Lumabas ka na. Ikatlo, magsabi na kayo habang maaari ko pa kayong patawarin. Magsabi na kayo habang maaari ko pa kayong patawarin. Notice that there's still that level of softness. Kahit galit na galit na yung nagsasalita. So, Say it now while I can still forgive you. Alright? So, just like what we did a while ago, I want you to construct your own sentences. This time, I want you to create um, words. Okay? Use these words in your own sentences. Lumikha ng mga pangusap na may pandiwang malubay o pasuyo. Sumulong, lumabas, magsabi na kayo. Alright! And lastly, this is magilas. Okay, what's magilas? Um, poetic? <laughs> uh, uh, it's not highfalutin. It's um, 
graceful, uh, majestic. Magilas is majestic, right? Uh, given that that's the meaning, okay, ito yung mga salitang pandiwang pautos na magilas. Okay? Salumi, labasi, buhayi. Itong mga salitang to, um, actually galing sila dun sa lumang Tagalog. Yung iba sa kanila ay galing sa mga wika, ibang wika ng Pilipinas. So, ang wika, ang pambasang wika ay Filipino na nakabase sa Tagalog, pero marami pang ibang wika sa loob ng Pilipinas. So, ang mga magigilas na mga pandiwa ay mga, uh, mga salitang direktang nanggaling sa mga wikang lalawiganin. Alright? So, let me explain that in English. So, yung mga magilas na mga salita, the, magil, the words that are magilas um, are words that directly come from either the old Tagalog and uh, the regional languages. So, for example, the, the last one, because I haven't been able to find the, the, uh, uh, a magilas word na counterpart ng isa nating verb. Um, so, I use the buhayi. Sa, Philip, sa, sa Bisaya at sa, sa Masbate, Masbateño, sa salita namin, ginagamit namin yan, buhayi. It means the same thing. To, to, to either to wake someone up um, or to make that person come alive. <laughs> so, obviously, this is a, an exaggeration, but buhayi is to wake someone up. Alright? So, Kung ano, um, dahil hindi to, these are not normal words. We don't usually use it in normal conversation. So, when do we usually use it? When we are creating poems, right? So, poetry has, uh, why do we do that? Again, I explained that in the previous video. There are two reasons. The first one is, um, when we, we reuse words, when we, we craft it, we recraft a word, we make it more melodic. Sometimes we do it so that it, it will rhyme, right? So we make it more melodic. Um, second, and this one is concept-based, let, let concept-based, literature um, and uh, literary and concept-based. Um, poetry refamiliarizes the familiar in order for us to understand a natural and normal phenomenon in a more majestic level, on a surreal level. So it we refamiliarize a familiar word so that we will have a deeper understanding, a more artistic understanding of normal phenomenon. Right? It is no longer normal, but surreal and majestic. Okay. So for example, um, how do we use mga magilas na pandiwang pa utos salungi? Right? Let me read it. Salungi kayo. Para sa kanilang nasa laylayan ng lipunan. Salungi kayo para sa kanilang nasa laylayan ng lipunan. Go forth, for the people were at the bottom of the pyramid. Go forth, for the bottom, for the people that are at the bottom of the pyramid. Same concepts. The, the, the second one, this one. Um, very, I like it. It's very Valentine's Day. <laughs> Perfect para sa mga Valentine's Day. At madalas naririnig nyo to sa mga makata, lalo na yung mga spoken word artists natin. Um, labasi itong nilalang na sa yung ganday na tutunaw. Labasi itong nilalang na sa yung ganday na tutunaw. Um, how do I translate that? Uh, uh, meat? Because to, 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 that means to go out of the, 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 the door, labasi. But we could translate that roughly as uh, meet the creature that in your beauty that is melting. Meet, or, or, or yeah, meet the creature that in, your, that in your beauty is melting. Or, because um, it's, it's poetry, eh. but if we put it in a statement, uh, meet this person uh, who's your mere beauty cause me to melt, right? So that's that. Labasi itong nilalang na sa yung ganda na tutunaw. And the third, ang ikatlo, 
uh, na paggamit ng magilas na paniwang pautos ay buhay. Buhay ang iyong pinatay na buhay. Uh, make, wake up your dead life <laughs> or your life that has not been alive for a long time. Right? Uh, buhay ang iyong pinatay na buhay. See? Um, ang Filipino, ang wikang Filipino ay isang napakagandang wika. Isang poetic na wika. Right? So, para sa araw na to, ito yung napag-aralan natin. And I keep it simple because um, there are a lot of technical terms that I know you know how to use pandiwa, but today we learned the, the linguistic and technical terms. So, para sa araw na to, we studied panagano o hinggil. At least yung dalawang bahagi nito, um, ang pawatas. Ang pawatas ay tumutuko sa salitang ugat, mga pandiwa na tumutuko sa action. Okay? Salitang ugat plus mga panlapi. Okay? Pandi, salitang ugat plus mga panlapi. At ang pautos, um, mga salitang nagbibigay ng utos. At may tatlong uri yan. May tatlong uri. Ang una ay makapangyarihan. Um, uh, pangalawa ay malubay o pasuyo. At ang pangatlo ay magilas. Alright? So, iyan ang ating lesson para sa araw na ito. Ang aking reference para rito ay ang balarila ng wikang pabansa na ginawa ni Nope K. Santos. Isa itong e-book um, na ma-download sa komisyon sa wikang Filipino. Um, kalimutan ko lang yung URL. Sinubukan kong i-paste, hindi ma-paste. But anyway, uh, balarila ng wikang pabansa ang ating reference para sa lesson na ito. Okay, so if you do have other requests, if there are other um, lang, you know, linguistic terms that you want to know, um, and if you are uh, uh, a for, um, if you are studying Filipino as a second language, please comment down below. Please tell me if these Taglish videos are helping you, and um, I want you to also tell me how best I could help you. Um, do you do you want me to make my voice um, louder? Do you want me to speak in a lower pace? Will that help you? Um, and if you want, um, and if you like, I actually would like to read some of the sentences that you've created. So if you want, you can comment. You can actually write all those sentences down below. And uh, I will try to read it. I'll try to read it. All right? So, if you have requests, if you have comments, chat down below. All right? Thank you so much. That's it for today. Stay safe always. This is your teacher, Ms. Herbal Santiago. Next week, we're going to have English uh, lessons and our topic would be in English, English grammar. All right? I'll see you next week. Bye!